Hey, Hank Heider. So today's workout is gonna be called the Bootylicious Butt Pop Workout because we're gonna really get that butt toned in tight today along with our core and our obliques, okay? So we really wanna get tight and this is our workout. Again, we've done this exercise style before where we're gonna concentrate for two straight minutes on a particular exercise. Then I'm gonna get you guys into the interval timer-based workout, and then you're gonna finish off with that same two-minute exercise. <clears throat> and this is a very effective exercise because the first two minutes and the last two minutes are gonna burn you out. In between that, guess what? You gotta get the core of your workout in. You really have to push yourself hard and get it in and get your cardio in, okay? So let's get started. And you're 
sitting back on your heels, okay? So you're not lunging over and tiptoeing, you're lunging over and you're back, sitting back, okay? So don't lunge as far, here we go. Small lunge, come up, small lunge, twist, come up, same thing, hand behind your head, small, tilt, over, up, okay? So real time, the exercise is gonna look like this. So I'm going over, up, over, twist, up, over, tilt, up, over, over, twist, over, tilt, okay? And I want you to continue this for two minutes for the beginning of this workout, and then you're gonna conclude the workout with this same two minute exercise. All right, so for the next interval step, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be getting your strength in and your cardio in with two strength exercises and two cardio exercises, okay? So here we go. So the first strength exercise is just gonna be a lateral lunge with your right leg. You're gonna come up into a plank jump, okay? You're gonna do this for the 30 second interval. So here we go. So I'm going to head a lateral lunge over, come up to a plank jump. Come up, lateral lunge. Come over, plank jump. Okay, and I want you to do this for the entire interval set. So I'll turn to the side so that you can see. Here we go. We're doing a lateral lunge. Over, plank jump. Come up. Okay, that's going to be intermediate advanced. Beginners, same thing. Don't do quite as though a long lunge. I want you to lunge it up so that this leg is completely straight. You're going to come up, and then you can Plank jump if you want to, or step back. So you're gonna step back, one, two. Go back to your one, go down. One, two, okay? So, all right, our cardio is going to be star touch jump, okay? So a star naturally is it like this, and we're gonna do jumps. So our hands are gonna be up, we're gonna be jumping, just like this, for 30 seconds. We're keeping those hands up, the entire time. So by keeping those hands up, we're strengthening our shoulders and our back. Getting these legs up, we're strengthening our core, and jumping naturally, we're strengthening our knees and our calves and everything. So real time, it's gonna look like this one more time. You're up, very light. Okay, if you want to get more advanced and you want to extend your leg, you can, like this. It's up to you. I like the knee, because I feel like I can twist a little bit more. Okay? For beginners, I want you to give it a try. Hands up, and even if you have to step, just like this. I want you to pump it out for the interval set. The higher up you get your leg, the more you're going to tone your core. Come to the side. That's intermediate advance. Beginners, you're up. Okay? That's going to be your very all right, so like I said earlier, we've done the left, the right leg for the first jump exercise, where we're doing the lateral one to the plank jump. We're going to do the same thing with the left leg, lateral one to plank jump. So we just did the first exercise, right leg, then we're going to do the star jumps, then you're going to get down and do your left lateral one to plank jump, okay? All right, so the last cardio exercise is going to be box hops. So what you're doing here, you're not really jumping on the box. You're going to have this go there is an imaginary four corners in front of you. So one, two, three, four. That's how my box to you. Your hands are going to be up, kind of like this, one in front of the other, up in the air, and you're going to keep a very tall body, engaging your core, you're going to jump in four corners. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? So this is really, really effective. It's going to get you your core tight, your shoulders are going to get burnt out simply from having them up in the air for so long, and you're just in your calves. Now it's important when doing this exercise, your feet, your heels are not touching the ground. You're staying on the balls of your feet the entire time. Just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Really, really good cardio. Keeping those hands up is harder than keeping your hands down here. So for beginners, if that's too hard, keep your hands up in the front, do the hops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? And that's gonna be your cardio. Alright, you guys, so that was the workout for today. This is a very, very intense total body workout. Okay, I'm trying to get back into it. 
If for whatever reason I feel my foot hurting, I'm gonna have to stop all the jumping. But for right now, the cortisone shot is holding me through. I'm gonna continue jumping just a little bit and getting that cardio in and keep pushing hard. Remember to cool down. This is a very, very, very effective exercise. A lot of jumping is great. And we're definitely not that booty popping today with this booty with the butt workout. And I'll see you for our next one. Bye.